I'm going to start a new series of videos on a um, pattern, a free pattern that you can um, get online. It's um, called um, Felicity's Christmas Gown. If you go to www.agplaythings.com, you're going to come up with uh, uh, this pattern right here. So go ahead and download Felicity's Pretty Clothes, and what you're, what we're making is we're making this um, Christmas gown and, uh, right here. Um, I've already made it once, but I'm not completely finished with it yet because I'm, I, you know, I just decided to start this series before I got it done. So um, for the next one, I'm going to do the same one, um, but um, I want to talk a little bit about some of the things you're going to need. Um, for the um, pattern, it says to use taffeta, and you're going to need some blue ribbon for the trim to go around the dress. The trim to go around the uh, dress is optional. You can use anything for that. It doesn't have to be um, the same color as your uh, dress. It could be absolutely any any design you want to. Um, you can make this. You can make these dresses really elaborate. Or you can make them plain um, like this without any um, added trim or bonus, but it depends on what you're making. Um, if you've ever seen that, um, if you've ever seen the movie uh, Dangerous Liaisons with Glenn Close, or if you've seen um, Valmont with um, Annette Bening, you're going to see this style of clothing because this is from 1774, and this would be one of the um, nicer dresses that um, the women wore to like balls and parties and things like that. Um, the stomacher was interchangeable and on the pattern itself you'll, it'll tell you to print uh, enough for two stomachers so you can interchange these. One was um, the lace and the other one had ribbon with little pearls on it. If you look up 18th century clothing online and you look up the gowns, you're going to see how elaborate um, some of these outfits actually were during those times. Um, anyway, um, for this outfit, instead of doing everything in the plain cotton, we're going to use two different types of fabric. I'm going to use this um, pink, it's called, this is a Laura Ashley design, it's a vintage cotton. Um, you may have seen it as wallpaper in somebody's house, but it's um, uh, pink flowers with a, 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 a rectangular square around it design. But anyway, um, this is what I'm going to be using for um, the out, outer skirt, this one. For the inner skirt, I'm going to be using a green um, floral design, but they're both cottons. So I was sitting here wondering if I should go with the off-white lace. The pattern calls for two different types of laces, so um, I didn't know if I wanted to go with the off-white lace or if I wanted to go with the white lace. Um, it, it, it calls for you to use um, 5 eighths of an inch lace and a one and a half inch lace, I believe the pattern. Let me, let me see what it says here. Okay, it says you're going to need a yard of taffeta, which would be a yard of your fabric. It says four and a quarter yards of white lace, an inch and a half wide, and then a yard of five-eighths of an inch. You don't have to use two different types of lace. I use the same lace on the whole outfit. So when I uh, put it around the neck, I just cut off the end of this because we're going to uh, um, gather it anyway. There's no sense in using up finding, having to find two different types of laces, unless you want to. So I'm using the same uh, inch and a half lace throughout the whole thing. You can use flat lace, or you can also use um, uh, gathered lace, because uh, instead of you gathering it yourself, you can just use the gathered lace as it is, and put that around your sleeves, like this, and around here. Um, the only thing you won't have is the flat lace for the stomacher. In that case, you can always use something else instead of the um, uh, gathered lace. Or you can just actually remove that uh, stitching right there and, and, and make it flat yourself. It's just that simple. Um, one difference I did on my pattern is I didn't put the fluffy lace up here on the top. 
So if you want to do that, you can do that too. There's just so many things you can do. So I was going to use an off-white lace, but then I saw that there's white inside this green fabric. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the white lace. I'm not sure exactly which light white lace I'm going to use, but I'll find one that would look nice on um, this outfit. Okay, so um, we're going to need um, the outer fabric, or the in and the we're going to need either the same type of fabric for the inner and the outer skirt, and we're going to need lace, and we're going to need snaps. Um, like I said, I haven't got this finished yet because. Um, I wanted to start the videos before I got everything done. So um, let me put this out of the way. As far as the trim goes, like I said, you can make them as fancy as you want or you can make them as plain as you want. You can use the ribbon and make the garland that goes all the way around the whole outfit if that's what you want to do. It's just, you can just go like elaborate or you can go simple. Okay, so the dress has uh, actually three different parts we're going to make. We're going to make the stomacher and in the old days, uh, stomachers used to have um, little tabs coming out the side here with buttonholes, and they used to actually just buttonhole these into their dresses to hold um, the um, outer outfit together. Um, and that was pretty clever when you think about it, because um, clothing was very expensive in the old days. So if they did spill anything on their stomacher, all they had to do was make this replacement stomacher. Very simple. Okay, so here's your um, outer dress. And then you're just going to have a plain, simple uh, gathered skirt for the inside. Um, I didn't, each, both of these outfits call for pockets and I'm not doing pockets on either one. I'm not going to do pockets in the demonstration either. Um, the pockets called for, the outfit actually call for you to have slits on both sides, but I'm I'm just I just redid it and made a plain skirt. I didn't want to fuss with any of the side pockets because they're not really pockets. They're just slits in the side of the dress and there's no lining to the pocket. So you'd have a pocket that anything you put in the pocket would fall right outside. I don't know if they did it to be realistic on the dress or what, but we're just going to do a plain simple underskirt. Uh and all it is is a little pleated underskirt. I'll try to follow the rest of the pattern just like it is in the um, pattern. But um, I changed the underskirt, um, but I did the outer skirt pretty much um, following the pattern directions. And basically that's what we're making right here is uh, the little bodice uh, with the two sleeves and then just a plain um, open uh, bottom. It's a simple pattern, it's just that they make the instructions so darn um, difficult to, uh, uh, re uh, to read and to understand. Okay, so I'll go ahead and clean this up and I'll get my pattern pieces out and show you what you need to cut and then we'll get started putting the dress actually together. <laughs> 